Well, today's a little bit exciting. I'm actually picking up my dump trailer. It's a 14,000 pound gooseneck iron bull. So I'm actually picking that up today. Waited two months now on that trailer. Ordered it to November 1st. It is now December 31st, New Year's Eve. And finally here, picking it up uh, over here at, what is it? Meridian Utility Sales out here in Sacramento. They got all types of Yanmar excavators. So I'm excited. We'll uh, get this thing picked up, check it out, see what it looks like. And again, I got it from Meridian Sales and Equipment. I know everything says NorCal Trailer on there. I guess they're kind of affiliated with them, but I picked it up from there. Uh, called Jordan directly to order this trailer up. It took about two months to build. Um, so I'm excited to get this thing to use. Greased everything that needs grease on this thing, just so I know that it's good to go. Because uh, from the manufacturer, they definitely they don't really put enough in there. So I'm gonna do that to both sides, of course. And a few things, of course, always check your lug torque. I'm gonna check the tire pressure on both also. And then for the chains here, they go right from here like that. So what I have is this, uh, this nylon, This it's for uh, actual hydraulic lines. You. Uh, put them on there so it doesn't rub up against anything and I really don't feel like scratching this trailer because it's brand new so I'm gonna sleeve this stuff over the chains on both sides a uh, little preventative wear and then grease up these zerts grease everything up on the trailer um, and I did check to make sure that the pins were in for the ramps and you got your LED lights and these guys fold down not up I don't know, I've seen a trailer that folded up, so it's a pain in the butt to get the ramps back in. Especially when these things weigh about 80 pounds a piece. You got Zerk fittings underneath there also, for the actual pivot point of the trailer. And the rest of the undercarriage. And that's the way it should look. All right, I'm just gonna do the other side. You guys don't wanna see that. Just like that.
these hydraulic lines, I'm going to wrap them in the protector, which I already have. This stuff right here. I think this is for a 3 8 or half inch line. I already, I always have a bunch of this on hand for uh, my machines. So we're going to go ahead and throw these on to the hydraulic line so that you're not rubbing up against the frame because when these guys get um, you know pressurized they're gonna keep on rubbing back and forth up along the frame you know some way and I don't want that to be a premature wear spot for that to blow the line There you go. Now if it hits the frame, it's no big deal. It's completely protected. And if you, I don't know, were to hit something on the road, you won't, hopefully just won't just rip off the hydraulic lines. And there is a, one more spot on the far side underneath the bed of the trailer. And here you can definitely see that's going to be a problem point with that laying up against there like that. Over time, it's definitely going to cut through that hydraulic line. So we'll get this also uh, covered up. There you go. That's no longer touching the frame, and this was sitting pretty tight up against this uh, hook, so I went ahead and fed it through there also, so that's not rubbing up against really hard. This type of stuff I'm not worried about. There's the other one right there. So yeah, we're all good to go. That's a lot better. There you go. I don't have to worry about that getting cut through anymore. These wires are, eh, I think they'll be alright. If I have to, I'll fix it if I need to. And if I have time, I'll just probably put a sleeve over the wires so they can't get rubbed through either. So those were definitely the biggest points because uh, that length of hydraulic line uh, gets pretty pricey. If I have that made, that's probably going to be 150 bucks, Maybe even 200 who knows, for that length and size of hydraulic line. So yeah, a little bit of a uh, little bit goes a long way when you do preventative maintenance like this. So I hope you guys did the same to your trailer. You know, these little things definitely add up. A lot less wear and tear on everything. So there you go. All right, so I'm actually editing the video right now and I realize I really suck at signing off because I never do. So this is me signing off. That's pretty much it for the video. There's a few things I didn't grab completely for information. If you guys have questions, just ask me. I absolutely love this trailer right off the bat. It has just about anything I need. Um, I hope it lasts me a long time as long as I take care of it. So if you guys liked it, like the video, subscribe, don't subscribe, hate on it, love on it, whatever the hell you want to do, uh, let me know. Have a good one, you guys.